hi guys welcome back to the channel today in this video we're going to be drafting the pattern for a blazer jacket so if you're interested in that keep on watching and let's go into it so we're going to use this part here as the center of our back so this is the center back of our jacket so i'm going to start taking every other measurement taking this as the center back so first thing i'm going to go ahead and do is mark a straight line at this top here this is going to serve as our shoulder line now we're going to start taking every other measurement from this shoulder line so first we're going to take our measurement from the shoulder line down to the bust point my bust point is 10 inches you're going to mark it then i also went ahead to mark my waist point which is 15 inches here and then also i'll mark the full length of this jacket which is 23 inches so i'm also going to just extend these lines across just like I did at the top so when you're through with that we're going to go up from our bust line by two inches to get our chest line so I'm also just going to mark that line across so when you've gotten your chest line you're going to come back to this shoulder line here and divide your shoulder measurement by two and mark it mine is seven inches so i just divided it by two marked it and i'm extending that point to meet the chest line so to determine my neck depth i went out here by three inches and then down here i came down by two inches so i'm just going to use my curved root to just connect these two points to give me the neckline for the back so basically right now we are drafting a basic bodice pattern i'm just repeating this process for those of you that don't know how to draft a basic bodice pattern after getting your neck you're just going to come down to the shoulder here and come down by one inch so you're just going to make that point and connect it to the neck area just like i just did in this video so when you're through with that you've gotten your shoulder slope now on this chest line still you're going to divide your bust measurement by four and mark it so when you're through marking that what we're going to do is to just connect this to meet the armhole line just like this remember this is the chest line this is the bust line this is the waist line and this is our top length right so now what i'm going to do is to divide my nipple to nipple measurement by two and mark it on all the four lines that i have just the same way i'm doing it right now in the video next you just connect all those points together with a stretch ruler now we're going to come down to this waistline here and we're going to mark half an inch on both sides and what i'm just going to do is to connect this half an inch all the way to the chest line here at the top and then also connect this point to the top length that's the end of the line just like you see me doing like this so this is how you get the dart for the back now that i've gotten my dart i'm going to come back to this chest line here you know we already divided our bust measurement by four to get this point here so here now from this point i'm going to add one and a half inch here a stitching allowance and then i'll come down to this waistline i'm going to mark my waist measurement divided by four here and then i'll measure this dart in intake here and replace it then before i add the general one and a half inch stitching allowance i'll do the same thing divide my measurement by four and then add one and a half inch for stitching allowance so now you're going to join the three last points together just like the same way you see me doing it like this remember that this is a jacket pattern that's why we don't have zipper allowance at the back of this pattern normally you will have zipper allowance so what i'm going to do here now is on this waistline here i want to go in by one inch to give me a shape at the back of my jacket so i just went in by one inch just like this and we're just going to connect this to meet the other side like this and also connect it to meet the top area as well just like this so i'm going to go ahead and cut that part out so that it just give me that really nice shape at the back of my jacket so another thing i want to do here is on this side i want to go up by one inch you can decide not to do this this is totally optional i want to go up by one inch and i just connected this one inch point 
to the other part of the top length like this this will just give it like a nice shape on the side so this is basically all for the cutting of this back pattern so if you want to have like a shoulder that you can totally add this so this is basically all for the drafting of this back pattern now we're just going to go ahead and cut it out Now this is basically all for our back pattern and remember that the back is not going to have zipper allowance. Now we're going to move over to the front. So for the front piece, this is the part that is a little bit technical that a lot of people find hard to really understand. So I would advise you to pay attention to everything I'm going to be doing here. So I'm going to start my lines leaving space at the top here and on this other side here. So from this top, I'll come down by about six inches about six inches here and then from this side you can come out by about four inches or something about that but just make sure it's up to four inches so but from this top make use of like six to seven inches now just draw a line across just the same way you see me doing like this so we're going to label this our shoulder line and from here we're going to take all the other measurements so just like i did at the back i'm marking my bust point my waist point and the top length as well and i'm just going to draft out like a basic bodies so the only difference between the neck area of the front and the back is that i went down by three inches in front instead of the two inches that i did at the back so go down by three inches in front and just connect it to meet the shoulder line another difference is that you're going to divide the measurement you have at this armhole area and mark a point there then go in from that point by half of an inch just like i did here and when you're through with that you're going to come down to this chest line divide your bust measurement by four just like we did before and now we're going to be connecting these three points together to get our armhole so this is a difference between the front and the back armhole so another difference is in the dart area so unlike the back measurements that we took all our points from the chest line down to the end of the top this one is going to start from the bust line so just like i did here this is the chest line this is the bust line waistline and then top length you see that our uh, dart is starting from the bust line and again i'm going to go down by one inch from that area and just mark it here now i'm going to take my half inch intake on both sides of the waistline like this and now i'm going to just connect this to meet this point i have on below the under bust that i just created like this now this is the difference between the dart of the front and the back pattern after doing this every other thing is basically the same now that we're true it's time to work on the jacket collar so what you're going to do is to come out here from this neckline by one inch to get our allowance in front for our button unlike the bag that didn't have any zipper allowance the front is going to have the allowance instead so that's the difference between a jacket and a normal basic bodies so the front will have the allowance instead of the back so i'm just connecting this one inch i just came out with just like you see me doing like this now when you're true with this what we're going to do is to determine our break point that's where you want your collar to end so i just used my waist length here which is 15 inches i just marked it here so i'm going to connect this point to the neckline so to get how wide i want my lapel to be so on this neck area here i'm going to come out by another one inch it all depends on how wide you want your lapel to be so you can make it one and a half inch here instead of one inch two inches or three inches all depend on how wide you want it to be now we're going to connect this point to meet the break point here so now i'm going to cancel out this line because it's no longer needed now we're going to come to this back pattern this is why i created this back first before the front pattern so we're going to measure this neck area here just measure around the neck area what you have there 
so i have three and a half inches so i'm going to go up from this shoulder by three and a half inches but what i'm going to do is that i'm not going to go up straight i'm going to slant it like this so that it just goes straight with the line that is already coming just like you see me doing like this so the next thing we're going to do is to come out by this line here by half of an inch and connect it back to the neckline this is to enable our collar to sit properly on our neck area so what i'm going to do is to cancel out this line that i had before now from this new point here i'm going to mark three and a half inches which is going to be the width of our collar now this also depends on how wide you want your collar to be so make sure that when you're marking that three and a half inches it's not straight ensure that your tape is also arranged in a slant manner just like you see me doing it like this and then we're just going to connect this like this so you see it's not standing straight now when you're true with that we're going to come up from this lapel area here this neck area here by half of an inch also you can decide to go out by one inch it depends on how wide you want your notch to be but i think half of an inch is just perfect so i'm going to connect this point now to meet this point here can you see where i connected it just this point right here and now we'll just join these two points here together like this with a curved rule and this is basically it our collar is ready so this is the collar this is the lapel and that's basically all for the front pattern of this jacket so now when you're cutting i would advise that you look carefully at what i'm doing right now so that you know exactly the area to cut and the areas not to cut out so guys our pattern is basically ready and you can use this pattern just like this so this is the lapel and this right here is the collar so you can imagine how nice this is going to come out by the time we are done so this is the front pattern and the back pattern here you can use this directly like this without a shoulder that this one i want to do now is totally optional i'm going to be cutting out a shoulder that because i'm making use of part fabric and i feel like it's going to be best if i just use a shoulder that for this jacket so if you decide to follow me in this process using a shoulder that you're just going to divide the measurement you have on your shoulder by two just like i did right now and just connect it to me the bust point so that's all for the front and then you just also do the same thing for the back divide the measurement you have on the shoulder as well and connect it to meet the dot like i said before this is totally optional if you don't want to go through with this shoulder dot you can absolutely use this pattern the way it is like this i'm just doing this because i'm making use of patch fabric so now i'm just going ahead to just cut away the dart from my pattern just like i did in front here and i also do the same thing for the back so these are all my pattern pieces here so this is the center back here this is the side back this is the center front with the collar and then this is the side front so that up there is the collar so this is basically all if you don't want to go through this process it's totally optional so the next thing i went ahead to do was to draft my sleeve pattern and i'm going to be sharing how you can cut your sleeve in another video so these are all the patterns that i'll be using to make this jacket and like i said i'm going to be making use of patch fabric i've been working on this patch fabric for the longest time and i'm really excited to finally be making a jacket with it today so i'm just going to arrange my patterns on the actual fabric i'll be using pin them down and i'm just going to cut them out making sure that i add half an inch stitching allowance all the way around so that's basically all for this pattern thank you so much for watching if you want to see the video where i am going to be sewing this together please stick around hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell i'll see you guys in the next one bye